we seem to have hit double figures. This is pretty new to me, as my degree has not left much time for being an epic gamer, but it seems as if the tide of epic gaming has been washing in without me. We are now at 10.0.0 of the Battle Cats, and I'm here in the App Store's actually quite helpful version history menu, so I can briefly acquaint myself with what's been happening in the between times, because the last time you saw me for an update was version 9.8, I believe. There were base dialogues for zombie outbreaks. I loved them, I'm fairly sure. Level 30 base developments. Definitely loved them. Since then, we've had version 9.9.0. It's a bit smaller. True forms and talents. <laughs> it's getting so usual that they've, they've just <laughs> shortened the wording of it as well. New legend maps, which we couldn't have looked at anyway. New user rank rewards. New cat combos. Added alert settings. For Isle of the Map Lord, I remember briefly checking in and finding out that's a good thing. What isn't a good thing, I think, seeing that, is that that warranted an entire new update point. I mean, 9.9.0 for what are just a few fixes. I would dare say that the bug fixes would be 9.8.1 and 9.9.0 would probably just be 9.8.2. But anyway, 9.10. This seemed to have been a pretty big one. Added the cat shrine to the Gamatoto menu. I'm going to need to discover that for myself and may appear at random times. Well, thank you for indicating to me there that I might actually not be able to record that at all. Naming feature added to battle formations. Oh my goodness me, that's very nice indeed. I like that. Oh, I like that. I remember what my battle formations are for, but just for the aesthetic and the point of reference for someone who's new to my battle formations, that's pretty fantastic. Talent orb slots added to all cats with talents unlocked. Oh yes, they are different things. I remember now. New legend maps, new user rank rewards, bug fixes. Fair enough. And ladies and gentlemen, this update here added fortune slips to the Gamma Toto menu. And that may appear in the cat shrine, which also may appear. We're getting into some unfavorable probabilities here. True forms, talents. Third forms, talents. I do actually quite like the succinctness of this. I have said before that some of the wording in Battle Cats is inconsistent. So a naming system, a house style, I think is very nice. It's very, very succinct, almost shorthand, but it mainly does the job. A little bit worried for people who might not know what true forms and talents are, but they can find out within the game. It's good that we've got a house style and then other usual stuff. Let's then update the game and find out what's in store for us in version 10, which is terrifying because I distinctly remember making a video on version 3. Dragon's a has-been! He's a has-been! I don't know if I've made note of this before. The beginner account keeps getting this message every time it opens up the game, which doesn't really make much sense, right? Surely the latest game data is just something it needs to download once because it's the latest game data. It doesn't update that quickly. And it's caused a few problems for getting onto the game now and then, so I hope that doesn't happen with this account. Let's see if we can 55 million downloads our way into a rare ticket in two. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, yes, okay, thank you. The Gamma Toto menu. Huzzah! There it is! And there's a speech bubble about it. Sure, it wants me to try and find that information, and I will happily oblige. Make offering. A portable shrine that appears to lucky players. Oh, well, thank you. Make an offering to the Cat God and receive divine blessings in return. The only blessings I received from Cat God are people on the beginner guide videos realising that they've wasted several hundred cat food on Cat God. I haven't received any blessings from him, I've got to admit. Tap the cat shrine to offer XP and receive cat god's blessings. Depending on the amount of XP offered, you'll receive different rewards in return. In addition, for an extra 5 XP, you can receive a fortune slip showing cat god's predictions for your future. Ooh, like an enchanting table. The level of the cat shrine will rise based on the amount of offerings you've given to it. Once the shrine has reached a set level, it will vanish temporarily. When it returns a few days later, Something might have changed. Ooh, ominous. I like. What I don't like is the timing of this. I have spent all of my XP on some form of venture, let's say, because there was nothing else to use it on. And now another fantastic feature has made its way in, doing this old adage, as I keep saying, 
making use of the stuff that's in a game, giving it new purpose when previously XP didn't have much purpose, and sort of interconnecting things, giving everything a link to everything else. This has come a bit late, and so I can only make a modest offering. However, I've got a lot of love for that box, especially the 3D bit of design on top of it with the little grates into the box. It just looks realistic, nicely shaded, like it very much. I'm going to click on the Cat Fortune first because 5 XP is, it is fine. <laughs> I like that, they've thrown out a, a, a little, little fortune slip. Nice typography as well. That's a bit gradienting. I'm quite impressed by this. No luck. Time to evolve your true form. Money. You might get a raise next year. Love. Why not take a few photos of your date? Outlook. Your blessings shall multiply. Do you know what I actually feel hard done by? Is this the update 10 offering to the cat shrine? A mick taking fortune cookie. This is both a brand new number and double figures, Ponos. So I really hope this isn't all there is to it. Okay, let's make a modest offering of a million XP. It shakes. <laughs> I'm really impressed with the art of that, though. Although this doesn't seem to be an update 10 thing, I really love the cat arm coming up, throwing that purple cat fruit seed down. And although there's no shadow on the cat fruit seed, so it looks a bit weird there. The animation of it getting onto the ground was pretty fantastic. The world has become a little more peaceful. Wow. Oh, look at us with our modest donation. I'm impressed by this. The cat shrine has reached level 6. Your vision will improve ever so slightly. That would be nice, actually. So thanks for that. I do love the leveling idea. Just another thing to do in the Gamatoto menu. More things to aspire to. Let's see if we can find some more detailed update notes. Yeah, no, literally that is it. Okay, fortune slips. Um, Big wow. A true form for Pi Pi. But that's fairly standard, of course. More cat talents to unlock. That's not new types of talents, though, is it? Because that's a little down arrow explaining. Nice formatting again, keeping it consistent. I'm have a quick scroll through that with my eyes and see if there are any particularly interesting ones. Okay, I like that. We're going through the special cats for it. Let's have a look at these talents, then. Quite excited, actually, to see what Flying Ninja has to offer us. It can target black enemies. Dodge attacks? That's interesting. Now, tell me if I'm going off the rails of sensible thought here, but ranged meat shield, right? I do wonder, you know, I, I do wonder, and I kind of want to try that out. So rice ball cat can be immune to freeze. That is excellent for the sort of stuff that it's used to. I mean, call me toxic, but I, I don't actually know what that means. Immune to slow, but you can make that an even better four star meat shield. So I like that a lot. That will probably come in handy, certainly for me at an earlier point than for other people. Pastry cat, can it be made useful? Barrier breaker, maybe. Although I can probably think of a number of better barrier breakers. Skeller cat, we won't talk about why that's level 50. Weaken, resist slow, recharge speed up. I, I gotta say, I don't want to be getting my skeller cats more often. In a sense, that makes it worse in my mind. Heavy assault cat. Massive damage. I like that. It's like a Pacific Rim robot monster thing. That would be fun. Oh, all right. Okay. A bit of a hand shuffle of glee here. Gato Amigo. Upgrade the knockback ability. Oh, no. I'm sorry. We're doing that. We're doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we like that. We're a big fan of that. Let's get it to level five. Even more reason to like Gato Amigo. I feel vindicated. Resist freeze. Oh my good god. I want to get Resist Freeze so that I can use Gato Amigo more often. But does that make it too good? No, it makes it four star ready. Let's Resist Freeze. My Gato Amigo is now an absolute champ. I love it. Ultimate Bondage Cat. Gains the Freeze ability. Gains the Dodge ability. Immune to slow. Defense but Okay, right. I think that's sensible. A pretty bad unit has been given some pretty promising talents. I will leave it up to other people to let me know if that can rescue it. Dark laser. Oh, 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 I like that. Immune to weaken. Cost down. That's nice. I like that because it is quite expensive. Then it's level four there. Fence buff, attack buff. So that's a fairly standard theme amongst these. Dancer cat. Surge attack itself. Oh, heck. 
a immune to freeze, immune to waves, beefcake cat, attack up, immune to surge, resist slow, defense buff, attack buff. What do I hear? Viable Paris cat rival? Probably not. Unicycle cat, sadly, is, is without. Lolly cat, slow metal? To be honest, I can't really remember what Lolly cat did before. Mister, though, very exciting, this one. Knockback Zombie. Ooh. Go on, then. Go on, then. Okay, I've had an idea. In my slot 8, which I am now able to call Zombie, we're going to put Hyper Mister in there. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go outbreaking. Outbreaking in the outback, Mark. This still hasn't been fixed, then. Cat Treasure Festival occupies a hierarchy over the Outbreak button, even though I've got every single superior treasure. Not great, but I like this. Its name goes in the Equip slot. Brilliant for the accessibility of players more towards the start of the game or those reforming their slots so that they're not having to remember what a number signifies. They can just reference the text that appears within the equip button and it tells them that they've got the right or wrong slot on. That is very nice. I like that. The battle F, begin F. Let's start off with a Gomon. See if we can get ourselves some extra cash. This is my zombie project, the Gomon. And then we're going to have a Hyper Mister that overtakes it anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Such insightful commentary. Okay. Hyper Mister. Can you do it? That's the question. We're going to be running past the Zhang Ru, so let's not have that happen. I'll put you lot out as well, because I don't think Hyper Mister is uh, demonstrating many successful faculties at the moment. And the amount of stuff that's around it kind of makes it very difficult to test scientifically. But you know what? We're going we're gonna to say that went very well. I don't think that was a knockback at the end. I think that was the Sangru's death. So I'm not sure Hyper Mister did anything. But you know what? That feels pretty good to be able to put him in a battle and not have to lie to yourself when you say, I think he could be of use. It's happened again. That flipping menu with the yes go to outbreak that I love so much is shifted too far to the left. Every time I try and scroll, it puts me in the zombie outbreak area. I don't like it. Tell you what I do quite like though, a cultured festival. I didn't know there was a lucky ticket stage on. Oh, heck yeah. What I think I'm gonna try and do is get my special cats together and have a bit of a laugh. Okay, always in the rex. let's go. Okay, so I've got some research up combos on and stuff that we've looked at improving. Although, come to think of it, I don't think I've actually done anything to Rice Ball Cat, but it's fine. What I am most interested in is trying to stack these as a form of ranged meat shield and then use the wave attacking dark laser behind it. I am very glad for the cost reduction because we've already run out of monies and it's a very, very expensive unit. But we reduce the cost, its recharge time therefore becomes useful instead of the enemy of things like CPU as you get with Paris strats. And there's the wave! There is the chance of a wave, it has been realised and it can be improved if I upgrade the talent anymore. You wonder why I don't just max the talent straight away. That's why. The rate of wave would be the best, the maximum. And if it wasn't that great, I'd just be irrevocably disappointed. This is a starting point from which we can improve. And so far, we're doing pretty well. I mean, this is the, the classic kind of, you can't tell if you're doing really well at all because it's not a particularly difficult level and the units are pretty high level themselves. But we're not failing miserably, as can sometimes happen even when to all intents and purposes you should be succeeding. We're actually kind of doing all right. And I forgot to bring out my main boy, Gato Amigo. We want that knockback to be in effect as well to form the ultimate special team. As much as none of this update stuff rings true of a big number update like version 10, at least we have got ourselves some absolute riots of talents for these special units. 
the tables have turned tables, and we're now not doing especially well. We've got an Owlbrow there, which is going to give us some extra money, so that's good. But that's only a few more Dark Lasers until we're bankrupted once again. And the unfortunate thing is, is that the Chick-fil-A's in their low-definition glory are stacking up and defeating us. But we're not going to give up. Oh, no. I've blitzed the Worker Cat at the start here and put out... <laughs> fundamentally pointless Gato Amigo. It can provide a little bit of protection there. For that wave to be initiated, fantabulous. And we're going to get our meat shielding out straight away this time. Hopefully, the better stead that we've put ourselves in at the start is going to benefit us and we might be able to get through the level. I'm doubting it, but at least the start of this level with this current strat is thoroughly entertaining. Got that gory black back to the base. Almost a max worker cat, in fact. Well, uh, iron wall. Not quite what I was hoping for, but then again, could be of use. I'm going to try not to Khaleesa it, but let's see. We got a max worker cat out of it, so if we can't afford dark lasers and the meat shields now, we're just not going to be able to at all. All of the meat shields, and then put out a dark laser when I can afford it, which seems like not very often, but I think that's got to be the way around that I do it. Another iron wall. Wait, oh dear. The iron wall is no more. Oh, whoops. Stuff is dying. Although, once again, I don't think it's the principal enemies that are dying. The Chick-fil-A's are definitely less moved. The ladies are not for turning. Go, go, get amigo. This first bit, you know, pretty sublime. I mean, this is dark laser territory if ever we've seen it. An upgraded version of it against the enemy that is already traded against. Pretty nice. Max Worker Cat here, and we're going to be able to get Kalisa at this time, which we definitely need to try. Kalisa. Go, go, go. Stuff does die around the Chick fil A's. They're just too strong to sort of maintain in a clump and eventually chip away. So we need to be killing stuff fast, and hopefully we'll be able to do that because Kalisa, to be fair to Kalisa, is lasting policently well. Has got weakened, however, and on a few occasions of trying to attack, it has been knocked back. Not that time, though. We're doing actually plenty well for monies, which won't be true after very long. But, oh, the recharge time is pretty good. Well, let's not spend all our money on dark lasers then and definitely keep enough to get another Kalisa at the cost. There is hope yet in the random other recharge time combo that I put in the unit that that gave us. Getting a bit panicky on my meat shielding now, running out of monies, but was that a Chick-fil-A death? I don't know. I do now! Oh, fantastic! Good job Kalisa got that shot in before it died. We're probably going to be able to get another one. We are indeed. Wow. To save us from this lurch, and we are not going to have wasted 100 energy. Absolutely fantastic. And so there we go. Level completed using this pretty wacky strap. Yes, we have learned absolutely nothing from this, but is that not entertainment in a kind of slightly inferior form where it doesn't really tell you anything? Still entertainment though, right? And I hope you've been entertained by this as this base crumbles towards its end. I wonder towards the future whether my viewership does or whether people still remember who I was in that time long ago in the prehistoric Battle Cat age. Goodbye and I hope you enjoyed. Oh yeah, update overview. Um, not, not much of an update really is it?